hello, hello, hello. I'm never quite sure how much of a delay there is between pressing the go live and it actually started. It's weird, comments come up about 20 seconds late. Anyway, hello people. Today, uh, we're back into the, the tour de Zwift. Continues with stage three. Um, because of my own incompetence, I've double booked myself again. So I'm doing the shorter ride today, which is a Criterion style event. This one, unlike the time trial event I did last week, um, there will be some strategy. I'm going to try and get into a group of people and sit there. I've not ridden this Criterion course before. Um, it's one of the ones added by Zwift in November last year. I think it's November. Um, I've never had a chance to ride it. So first lap round. This is a three lap event. So first lap round. I'll try and figure out where everything is. Second lap round we'll try and sit with a group. Uh, And the uh, third lap round, we'll just try and hang on, see how that goes. So, because I arrived to the event quite early to do the update, I got put at the front. I don't like it. So, there'll be a few people go past. It's not a problem. I wasn't expecting to fake quite that quickly. So as with all Tour de Zwift events, there's a double draft, so big benefit to staying with a group. And it's uh, three relatively short laps. You know, about four kilometers, roughly the same as the volcano in Watopia. I think in the blurb I read, it's about 20 meters of vertical climbing in a loop, making it basically flat. I say in this one, tactic, stay with this group. That's my game. Stay with the group. This event's really about finishing, so I don't think the uh, placement really matters. Be nice to finish in the top, but it doesn't matter.
I've said this before, I'd like to know the answer, if there is one. But according to Zwift, every one of the cyclists is on the centre line of the track when they calculate their position. But apparently where you're placed in a bunch across the road has an effect on the drafting. I've never been able to figure that out. So if anybody knows, or anybody from Zwift would like to explain, that would be really useful. Or if I've just missed it and it's very obvious. In the comments. And then we'll all learn something. So we came through that sprint, 44th out of 45. It's not great, is it? Never mind. Stay with the group, don't get dropped. Strategy for the day. Stay with the group. Also, if anybody from Zwift does pick this up, feature request. When somebody gives you a, a ride on up the, the top and you can't see them in the list at the side, the great if it came up on the screen on the companion app. So that you can say it straight back to them. That'd be lovely. Proof I've never ridden it before. We've got a badge for the route. You don't get another one if you do it again though. Stay with the feet. Stay with the feet. Come on, legs. Come on. Don't get dropped, don't get dropped, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pay attention. Pay attention. Whew. There's the peeps. Hmm. Let's 
take advantage of the draft. I see them going to the sprint. For their drafting and featherweight power ups. I haven't got any. Just roll through this. A lot slower. Never mind. Stay with the group. That's all we're going to do. Come on, stay with the group, stay with the group, stay with the group. No! The lesson here is, don't let your concentration lapse. Thank you, Dan. Off we go, last lap. I'd say, it's just my opinion, but this world within Zwift is visually stunning, but I'm finding it quite hard to remember the track. The uh, Downtown Dolphin and Bell Loop are, I find anyway, uh, a lot easier to remember the actual circuit. Don't get me wrong, it's still fun, but for out and out hammering yourself around the track, being able to remember it is a good idea. Come on, guy, let's go. That's good. Come on, little group of three. Can we get back? Can we get back? Bit of a climb. Maybe it's not going to string them out. The legs just aren't there today. Never mind. We'll get round. We'll make it home.
hopefully make it back without breaking anything. That'll be good. So this is my new group. This is my new group. Let's stay with this group. These are the guys. Go guys! Don't drop me now. <laughs> Yay! 10 XP. Just what I wanted. I definitely didn't want a feather to help on this hill. <laughs> Got it, hill. The hill by Lincolnshire standards. Which for anyone that don't know, Lincolnshire's very flat. And for any American viewers, I think they call it Lincolnshire. Or Shire. Yeah. I don't know how they say it, but according to YouTube, some viewers are from the States. Welcome. If you know how you pronounce Lee, Lee, if you know how you pronounce the Shires in the comments. Oh dear. These are the peeps, come on. Come on, legs, don't fail me now. These are the guys. Come on, man. They're not the peeps. They're there. They're not. A lot of people are taking off to close to the end. And that's fine. Not for me today. And there we go. Stage 3 and Sword is Whipped. Tick. So, I'm going to just say, uh, if you haven't been, thanks for watching. If it's your first time here, welcome. If it's not your first time here, welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed that little run around. And uh, now I'm just going to go and get on with the rest of the day. So thank you very much for joining me. 